Hey, what's up everyone? Z-Man here, back at the Z channel, doing another knife review. I'm gonna be hitting out a bunch of these tonight. So here is the Buckshot Knives uh, set up, and I got this with the MTech Extreme bundle deal that I got. This was the third knife, and this was all for 25 bucks for this blade and the other two blades. I won all three of them for 25. And so jumping right into this one, this is a lot different of a knife. It's got more of a it's definitely a cheaper nylon uh, kind of carry knife, but what I did like about this most of all was the cleaver style on this blade. So as you can see, it's full tang all the way through, okay? Really nice blade, it's nice and heavy. It does have a little bit of off balance not too bad, but you can kind of see it's teetering a little bit. But with something like this, you really can't throw it anyway because there's not really too much to stick. I mean, you might be able to get like kind of like a tomahawk throw um, if you're able to stick it like this and have it hit in that way. But you're not really going to throw. This is more of a, you're slicing and you're cutting and you're really not able to stab with this one. So it's just slicing and cutting and going after you know, different uh, vital areas, if you will, if um, it was a self-defense situation or if you're going to use it for whatever other uses. Uh, pretty sharp, it's got a nice razor edge. I actually cut myself a little bit on it um, messing around the other day, but nothing too bad. When you mess with knives a lot, you're going to have, you know, minor nicks and cuts and things like that. It's just something you get used to, especially when you start working on blade manipulations and you know things like that so something to this effect it was pretty good quality uh, it's got some really good heft to it it's, I mean if you smack some with it it's gonna go good it's got a nice blunt head on it so or excuse me the uh, hilt it's got a nice kind of like not sharp edge but enough to where if you knock someone with it hit a pressure point vital area it's gonna mess their day up and you know it's got a real nice stiff ridge back here and for it being part of a bundle of 25 bucks, I mean, it was pretty much a free blade. Um, you know, like I said, nothing too quality about the sheath. It's just a regular nylon sheath. Nothing too great, nothing too bad. I've carried it a few times. It fits nice on the belt. Um, when I wear it, I like to put a strap right here so it locks into the belt loop. So I'll put it, I'll put this part through the belt, usually up here on the front right side. And then when I have it in there, I'll take a, um, oh, I can't even remember the name of it right now. Uh, what's it called? Uh, keepers. They're called keepers and you wear them on your uh, security duty belt or police belt or whatever. But uh, I'll take a keeper and I'll wrap it around the side and button it to the front. So that way it's locked in there. And that way when I pull up on it off my knife, or I mean, uh, from my belt loop, it comes out with these. Uh, these kind of sheaths, they tend to kind of snag sometimes or they don't give you any extra pull because this will come all the way up and so you're actually getting more, it's going to take more time for you to deploy your blade out when you're when you're pulling it up because this is going to go up with it at the same time. So it's going to go and then you'll be able to pull it out. With the keeper putting it on the belt loop, it'll snag right at that one spot and then come right out without having to have any more um, you know, pull or tug to go with it. So, um, I'm going to have to actually doctor up the sheath a little bit. It's kind of coming apart, uh, from the multiple times that I've worn it. But the good thing about knowing how to sew stuff like this is you can reinforce it and you can make the blade or the, uh, the sheath 10 times better. So, uh, I'm going to put this with one of my, uh, actually I'm going to make a separate go bag for this one and just kind of put it in there as a keepsake. Uh, Practicality uses, you know, it can definitely be used in self-defense situations. Survival, not so much because it doesn't really have the, the, the stabbing kind. And if you ever had to use it for hunting or spear point or whatever, you know, it's just, to me, it's not practical. It's kind of almost more like a, a meat cleaver, like a small little meat cleaver, but uh, pretty cool. And like I said, I pretty much got it for free. So when it comes down to uh, getting bundled deals, you know, this, like I said, was pretty much a free blade. Uh, with the other two M picks that I did a review on earlier. So uh, pretty happy with the quality. It's gonna be you know used for some for something here soon. I don't know exactly what, but it's called a buckshot and pretty cool little blade. Nothing fancy. 
but uh, pretty much free for the most part, and that's what I love about doing my eBay deals. So if you ever get a chance, check these out. The Cleaver knives are practical for a lot of things, but if it was me and I was going to go into a situation where I was, you know, betting my life on it or whatever, I wouldn't, this would not be my first option, but I would definitely keep this as a backup because it's always good to have backups and you can easily stash this and put it away and forget about it. And then when it's there, you'll need it for a rainy day. It'll be there ready to go. So that's what I got for this review. Uh, nothing bad to say, nothing great to say, but it is what it is with the buckshot. So check it out if you get a chance. Z-Man out.